Okay, this is the key to the factorial assignment. Uh, I'm trying to use a loop and a function to calculate the, the factorial from 1 to 20 without using the default R function. But I will double check my own result with the, with the R result. So I write a, a, a function called my factorial single to calculate a factorial for a single number. Um, with the single input parameter called n, and this will calculate the factorial for the n factorial. So if the input n is 5, that will calculate the factorial for 5. For this one, I started with a x assigned equal 1. I basically, so for, for a number goes from 1 to n, every time I cap, cap, multiply, multiply x by i, so the x will be multiplied by x 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, in fact, I don't have to multiply 1 again. I, I can just multiply by 2 because 1 is the same, which is meaningless to start with. So I can just... <coughs> and, and then uh, the last uh, line is return x to outside of the function. Uh, remember, everything inside a function is internal. You won't see it from outside. So you have to return it to use it. So that's a definition of the function. And then uh, I generate empty vector called my out. This is an empty vector. It can be uh, this number, this value will be overwritten by my later functions. So for the homework, I ask you to write a factorial for 1 to 20. So I use a for loop, say, 1 to 20. And then for every position, the first position is for 1 factorial, second position of 2 factorial. So for every position, I call my function of factorial, and then say my factorial single i. Each, the first position will be 1, second position will be 2. So basically, this will calculate the factorial for each each position. And finally, I want to output uh, my result, which is uh, my out uh, is a factorial 1 to 20. And I also put uh, the positions there. Uh, this basically 1 to 20. And just to double check, I also use the R function, R factorial itself, and calculate it again. And so Run this function, you will see yeah. So, so this is uh, the second column is my own result. The third column is the result I calculated using the default R function. Um, I can also use the write func write dot CSV function output this file to a uh, a file and submit this file and so that's where I write the file to my working directory so I want to also save the current file probably uh, I'll just save it to my current working directory call it say uh, my last name homework 3 I'll probably say factorial almost 3.r. Uh, some of you cannot, doesn't save your R script in correct text format. You must save it in something else. So some of you submit your R script, I, it's either empty or in binary file. It's not even in text file, which is really weird. I, I'm not sure what happened. You should try to save it in the R format. Some of you uh, probably Googled and do the research to see how factorial calculate, but you didn't find the R code. You found the C code or C++ code. That's not even the same. Uh, I, I wouldn't even think that code will run in R if it's a C++ code. It's like running Spanish in French <laughs> environment. So.